The uh, untraditional jazz improvisational team was something that we always wanted to do. We wanted to come to New York, Bayard and I, and we came together uh, to a loft on the Bowery and, and uh, Second Street. It was a duplex loft. And um, my mom, back in Hawaii, had made a brochure that had UJIT, an untraditional jazz improvisational team. And uh, we were just really determined to uh, pass it out. All these brochures went all over town. And um, for a while, we were just having loft gigs right there in our duplex loft. I had heard that uh, Mingus was uh, wanting, took a look at it, wanted to uh, use it, uh, rent it. And uh, Coltrane came over with Archie Shep uh, to see if he would like to do rehearsals for the Ascensions uh, phenomena. Uh, he ended up doing his thing at the Village uh, Gate where he uh, actually did the live concert. But uh, <clears throat> Byron and I uh, were as close as brothers, you could say, because we went to Berkeley together for four years. And um, once we got to New York, the older musicians started pulling us into our own thing. Uh, for example, right away, a subsidiary of Atlantic grabbed Bayard. And uh, Alan Douglas, who was having Douglas International, grabbed me for my version of West Side Story, which I had a couple of horns on. I had Pharaoh Sanders and Bayard in the beginning. He said, I don't want any horns. Uh, I just want trio. So I had Bobby Cap on drums and Sarone, or uh, Norris Jones from Atlanta on bass. 